So the first Eden Group quest, you have to start it at the Eden Group headquarters, which you should have already done. Uh, you want to go to Morok, which is the desert town. That's the fastest way to get to the map to actually do the quest for the equipment. And I'm going to show you exactly where to go in order to get there. And really, you need to use your flywinds to get there quickly. Uh, you've got a bunch of them, so just spend them. Uh, you should have got those in the tutorial area. So, we're just going to go over here to the next map. And one thing you'll notice about Ragnarok Online is that there's a lot of running around all over the place. And that's kind of why I've done this, is because it can be kind of uh, overwhelming for a new player to try to figure out where the hell to go for everything. And it's useful for someone to show you exactly where to go. And that's why I made these videos. So we should almost be to the NPC's location. And he's kind of, he may not look a little obvious because he looks like a wolf. So I will show you exactly where he is uh, once we get to him. And there he is. So talk to him and he tells you to go kill a bunch of enemies. After giving the password, which is the middle option. And he wants you to kill a bunch of condors. And there's condors all, uh, all over this map. So it's pretty easy to find them. Uh, you may have to fly a ring around a bit, depending on how many people are on this map doing the same thing that you are. But uh, you should be able to find them pretty easily. As I just found one right here. And we're going to fully kill it. And job level, that's nice. Uh, after you return the quest to him, he's going to have you, uh, if I remember correctly, he's going to have you try to kill a bunch of the desert wolves. Uh, the little baby wolves that are on this map. And, yep, go kill a bunch of these wolves. And that's what we're going to do. Conquer in the desert. Maybe desert wolf, you are going to die. So that we can get three items. Items that own. And the last enemy he's going to send you on a quest to go kill are a bunch of scorpions. You should have ran into a few of them already. Uh, they're kind of annoying. They will cast um, a poison on you. But you've got plenty of Nova's pots, so you really shouldn't be a problem with that. Uh, you can, if you have them, use green herbs to cure yourself of any poison. So uh, Next we're going to go right back to uh, Baroque, and then we're going to use the teleporter to the Eden group, and we're going to get our items. And that's another thing, that when you get to these maps that are really close by wherever you are, go to the Kafra and save your character there so that you can just teleport right back uh, and get to the Eden group to turn in your quests. That's another pro tip. <laughs> I always hit that term pro tip, but it's not like it takes a pro to figure this stuff out. So uh, what I did was I turned in a different quest. Uh, I picked up at the same time that I did the Eden Group one, which was for the condors. So that's another thing you can do. You can pick up from the boards over here uh, the quest for to kill the condors. And while you're at that map with the condors, you can do that quest as well and maximize uh, the amount of experience you get. Uh, for the time uh, you've invested into the game. And this is the way to get our first uh, Eden Group equipment. Some free stuff. And he tells you to check your inventory, but you have plenty of space. It doesn't even matter. They don't have any weight whatsoever, so I don't know why he even bothers to, to check that. Uh, and there we have our hat. And we've got our mantia. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is actually really nice. Uh, yeah, it gives you an uh, increased tolerance to neutral property by 10%, which basically means that almost every enemy in the game swings neutral. So you're taking 10% less damage from them, 